Hey, it's Sean and George from Old Yankee Farm, and this is part three of Greenhouse on a Budget. I just wanted to mention that I reconnected all the PVC pipe with these little connectors. A um, couple of you suggested I do that, and it was an excellent idea. As you know, I'm kind of winging it, and I'm building it as I go. So thanks, Dad. Thanks, Bill, for that suggestion. And uh, I'm going to include a little clip of me doing that. I glue the ends and I put the cap on and I did every one of them. So it makes them all pretty secure. This video is going to be me working on one of the, the framing out the end. And uh, what, George? So this is, uh, this is the next video. Like and subscribe. In the spirit of using materials that I already have, I got these old uh, stall doors that I had on my other barn before we made it into a chicken barn. So I've been sitting on these for years. I was going to do some type of wall decor on them and do like some saying on the side of them and something you can hang on the wall. But I'm going to use them for my greenhouse. They're about four feet wide and about seven feet tall so it'll be a decent door plus you'll be able to open the top and let some air in so
I'm gonna use these old windows that we got from uh, one of our relatives they were replacing their windows and he gave me a couple of these so I'm gonna at least put one in this side of the greenhouse it should look pretty nice As you can see, we're coming along here. I gotta figure out how to stabilize that wall so it's not a little shaky before I put the doors and the windows on. So I'm gonna research that. And then I'm gonna frame out the, uh, the, the other end. And I got a good sized piece of um, ridge board for the, the center beam that I used for a uh, horse stall so I just got to add to that so this is the next video make sure you like and subscribe and now share my videos and I'll think you all you guys are great if you do that Sean and old Yankee farm see ya